here. She's in Las Vegas in Clark County for us uh, right now. Sarah, people I see are waiting in line. Tell us what's going on over there. Okay, so this is the line of people who were told that they need to come show an ID so that they can make sure that their vote counts. Otherwise, um, their vote will not count. The, the elections officials want to see an ID from these folks. Uh, this is a line that was very long earlier today. It is now shortened. And part of the reasons why it's shortened, Wolf, is because it is past 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock was the deadline to get the votes cured. Now, you are the last person in line. And what did they tell you? Because there's no one behind you. If anyone shows up now, they cannot get their vote cured, correct? Right, exactly. So for me, it's very important that my voice is heard. My voice is my vote. So whether they text me at 4.30, first they called me and said my vote did not go through. And then they text me and said I needed to be here by 5. So I'm literally driving through the streets to get here on time to make sure that my vote is counted. Wait, it's they didn't important. tell you until 4.30? 4.30, they called me and then they sent me a text and asked me to send a copy of my ID. Well, that's not going to happen, sending my cop my ID to someone not sure, certain who it is. So I made sure that I came down here because they said I had to be here by 5 p.m. So I was flying literally to get here. So it's important that at this very last minute, it's very important that my voice and my vote is counted and heard. Tell me your name. My name is Mary. When you got that call, what was your initial thought? Are you, have you been living here a long time? Oh, yes, absolutely. I've been here for at least 35 years. And so when I got that call and I was watching, have been watching the poll constantly live to see where the vote actually lies. And it's important now because my um, stand of who I'm voting for that my vote actually goes through. So this, this is like the last minute and I definitely want my vote to be counted. Definitely. Thank you very much, and You're thank so you for your dedication. This thank is a so part much. of the American process, Absolutely. and you are here by taking part. You said by the people, for the people. For the people. Thank, thank you for you so being much. here. I appreciate it. All right. So here um, you can see that they're giving uh, citizens a chance to cure, right? So I guess they didn't show their ID. They, they get a call, they come in, and show their ID. We're going to go on down the line. This gentleman back here has um, agreed to, to speak with us. <laughs> He's got a nice cowboy hat on. How you doing? Hi. How are you? Uh, I'm Sarah. What's your name? I'm, my name's Sean Burke. John, how long have you been living here in Nevada? I've been in Nevada for about eight years. Okay. You are here in line. How did you find out you needed to show up to show your ID? Well, I have a friend of mine, like we all do on Facebook, and I noticed that uh, he had made a statement that if your vote hadn't been counted, to get down here today by 5 p.m., and it was about 3 o'clock when I saw that. Uh, I did fill out my ballot. I dropped it off a couple weeks or so ago. And it keeps showing up when I check it online that it's been received, but it hasn't been counted. And, uh, you know, uh, so I thought I'd come down here. And even though we've got lines and all that, I want my vote to be counted. One thing I will tell you while I'm standing here in line, the irony of made some new friends. <laughs> and the biggest thing I want to say about how cool this is going Ironically, we just mentioned, none of us have asked each other who we're voting for or anything like that. we just all down here representing, got my little crew over here being real silent and all that. But we're just all down here, want to make our vote count. It's a beautiful thing that basically you're telling me that you've made some friends, you don't care who they're voting for, but you do care that the votes are counted, period. That's correct. I mean, you're sitting here looking at an old man with a cowboy hat. we got some other folks here that are... You know, younger than me that are parents. We got some young guns over here that are in the early 20s, stuff like that. And we're all laughing and joking. And no one had, no one has not asked, who are you voting for? And I think part of us would want to know and the other part we don't want to know. <laughs> Do you want to tell me who you're voting for? <laughs> um, no, no, I think I'll just leave that a mystery. For those of you out there that know me, you know who I'm voting for. Um, but everybody's getting along. But you didn't get a call from officials. You came down because you hadn't seen that your vote had been uh, actually counted yet. So you just came here to make sure that they have everything they need to make sure your vote well, is counted. I went online. You can go online to the Nevada website. It does verify they've received my ballot. See, why hasn't it been counted? Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for waiting in line and doing oh, your civic you duty. I appreciate service. you. I wish I had some sandwiches and water. To <laughs> We're all thank good. Thank you so much.
So there you have it. This is the last person in line. The line is moving. We just talked to the registrar of voters who said if people showed up here and got in line before 5 p.m., then their votes, they can cure their vote. They can show those two IDs and they can make sure that their votes will be counted. Wolf? So nice. Uh, I love these patriotic Americans. Uh, all right.